Hi guys and welcome back to another reaction of Masters of the Air. Today we are diving into episode 8. I am so excited. I feel like this one will be a wild ride. We are getting to know Sandra. We are still in Germany with Gail Clevin and John Egan and all their people. We found out in last episode that Rosie still wants to continue on serving even though that he was able to complete 25 missions and could get sent home. But now if he go back there he can't go back home until mission 30. some people could get back at the mission of 28 but that new rule is for the new people which people are not really excited for or fond over i really don't know why they changed it like that but it's probably because they have lost so many people and now they need all the help they can get for even more missions in the last episode we had several flying ins to germany trying to get to the heart of where everything was happening, but now there's a new mission going where I can't pronounce it, so I won't try, but now they have to bait flyers with the bombers and now use other planes to shoot them down. The reason for that is so that they are more people, have more planes than the Germans have, and then can go back to flying and bombing the heart of it all. Last time around, we ended the episode at March 28th, and uh, we will see what will happen next. I think that we, we will be getting to know Sandra a little bit more. We are going to perhaps, I hope, escape from German territory and get back to our people that are currently in England. So yeah, my full reaction is over on Patreon, social media, link down below, my gaming channel in the corner, link down below. Thank you guys so much for being here, and let's get on to Masters of the Air part eight. First of June? While the 8th Air Force was hitting the Germans from bases in England, the 15th Air Force was striking at them from bases in Italy. The 99th Pursuit Squadron was part of that effort. Uh-oh. This is gonna go down. Bubble blue to cap one. On your word, sir. One minute, six seconds away from quit Foxtrot. Prepare final approach. Line is third. Shatter off. Okay, so now we're following other people. Oh. That is never a good thing, especially not this late. In the rain, bombs away. Never direct to the structure. Two hits on vehicles. I'd log that as a direct hit. Five hundred Tuskegee missions under our belt. That's reason to celebrate, Lieutenant. Got this, sir. I was just coming to congratulate you. It's fine work out there, as usual. Thank you, sir. Am I gonna have to court martial you into taking a sip of that beer? No, sir. You're a clever fella, Alex, but don't let smart be the enemy of happy. No, sir. It's just, uh... Don't get me wrong, Captain. I'm extremely proud of what we've accomplished, but when are we going to get into some heavier action? Very soon, sir. Plans are underway. The 96th is doing a fire a few days from now. We're going to fly our first mission over Germany. An escort run. A unit. P-40s can't handle that type of altitude. New birds like them. P-51s. We're getting to know them because they're all gonna die. Oh. It's just hard when you know, some of our guys are already out there. You didn't wash out, Alex. So now don't burn yourself trying. Everything in its own order. I'm nervous now. Two outs, three balls, one strike. How's it set? Delivers curveball. Big swing and a miss from Keller for strike two. That hack almost took it right out of us. Okay, it's gonna be like. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys were uh, wondering what the score is. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be okay? Playing baseball. Precisely. <laughs> well, I'm good. That's the truth. I've been here for eight months now. Still trapped, still cold, still eating scraps. It's been eight months. It could be worse. It could be this. Well, maybe for you. At least that I could stand. I can't stand this. What are we to do? We all think something's gonna happen. Maybe we need to make it happen. I can be bridged there. Go and get executed. But we have to be patient. 5.56 to 5.57 a.m. on June 3rd, 1944. Three days to D-Day. I told you! The last minute of sleep I'll get for 72 hours. This is all leading up to that day. To bomb the German defenses in Normandy only minutes before the landing craft hit the beach. And then spend the day hitting German bridges, railroads, and communication lines further inland. About 200 missions in total, all needing flight plans and maps. 24 hours. The first night lies to you, tells you it's easy. I tried contacting Sandra whenever I had a break, but I couldn't reach her. 
It was like she vanished. That is rude. And she speaks French. I think she's a spy. Need to sleep, Crosby. Yeah. When the mission goes, I take more pills. Yeah, I will. I will, Doc. After. Only one every 12 hours. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, no, I hear you, Smokey. What are you planning? 60 hours. The mind starts playing tricks on you. You really need to plan this through? Just as I'd finished mapping the route for one mission, operations handed down five more, all high priority targets. The lack of sleep, the coffee, the uppers, the stress, the fear, the disconnect. That is not good for you or your heart. You covered the entire building. Good job. We received some news from a train station in uh, Lebec Elouin. Jean will brief you on your assignment. You leave tomorrow. 64 hours. You just try to survive, breath by breath, step by step. What if she's using Crosby? You have to go to sleep. Go to bed, Cross. That's an order. Now. I can't do it, Jack. Crosby! I'm fine. Surely. No, you're gonna collapse. Dog. Harry! Just like that. Sit down. For those of you seeing this month. Today is the day. Lieutenant Colonel Bennett is being assigned back to 395th, but the changes made during his command will remain. Okay. Thank you, Colonel. With the station on full lockdown, the sound of a couple thousand ships forming up weren't your first clues. We're a few hours away from the invasion of Europe. Oh, here we go. Any last words of wisdom, sir? No, no, I don't have any last words because I'm going to see you again. You take off, do your job, you land, and then you're going to be giving me some words of wisdom. He's such a good leader. Look at what is happening here. Keep that pressure on. It's coming. It's just like a work camp the way you jackasses are grinding away. Now the grind for this enough got a chance of actually getting wood for cook fires. Now take a break. Come on. Play some ball. Boys want to play some ball? Huh? No? Skins can be the uh, the oasis. Actually, no. We're both the oasis. So agree either pitch in or knock it off. You shut the hell up. Hell up. Make it help. Stay out of the work. Uh, well, you're in the team in the camp, but I'm just in the way. How nice. Yeah. Baseball, just work, work, work. That's all he wants to do. All right, come on. Get up, you know me. How's that? How's that? You can't hit us. Wait, you can't hit us. Hey, that's enough, fellas. John, I understand that you're so tired of this, but you're being a total. Yeah. That's got some bad news. They landed, didn't they? I think. So during D Day, you guys are still stuck there. I'm gonna do it in my auntie's backyard as soon as I'm back. Well, you're gonna be a father nine months after that day. <laughs> after the day. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> you wanna see my sweetheart? Oh, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, here you go. That's 23.7 acres of live lolly pines. Man said he gonna hold it for me. Yeah, you know, I can't toast to any mission with a loss of even a few bombers. We were 12 bombers for every fighter. On a raid escort? They knew we were spread too thin. Only losing a few bombers is a major victory. Brass is expecting much heavier casualties. Brass doesn't know what they should expect. What's really possible? Take a look around this room, Lance. You see what I see? I see a group of proud pilots who flew their first mission over Germany. Who can't wait to suit up and do it again. On mission counts alone, I see men who should already be captains. Majors. And we both know why they're not, and we both know why they may never be. Oh, wow. We'll just... Keep getting better at charting new courses. That's rough. The bluest skies. Ceiling and vision unlimited. I was wondering if you'd ever wake up. What time is it? 7.30. There's no time. There's still time! Damn it, pants! Pants! Where the hell are my pants? <laughs> it's Saturday morning, Krause. You've been out of it for three days. What I miss? Krause, you missed so much. I did three sorties. Like, I couldn't see any anything for the first two. And then the clouds parted. He missed it. Hundreds of ships, thousands of men. The third time that day, we hit bridges, rail yards, communication centers. So the Germans weren't able to bring up any reinforcements. And the best part? There wasn't a single Luftwaffe fighter in the air. The skies were ours. Wow, they did it. Like daring tales of heroism not daring enough for you, Captain Lawler. I just can't believe I missed it. Well... Now it's two months after? <gasps> Just because you missed it means we missed it. Yeah, but now I 
guys a year, almost at Paris. It was the worst nightmare, a two-front war. With us right between them. And crowds will slaughter us before they let us go. We won't go without a fight. We need to make more weapons, whatever we can. There's one other scenario. They force marches out of here before the Ruskies can set us free. Move us somewhere deeper in the Reich, say, Bavaria. That's the leverage all these POWs. But how would they do that? Like this. We need to start preparing now. Conserving rations, getting the men in shape. Everything we do from this point on needs to be to prepare for all three scenarios. Mass execution, forced march, or pitched battle. Operation Dragoon takes place in three days. Your mission is what makes it possible. Each critical landing points for our incoming forces. Now, we will have the manpower to prevail, but if we knock out their eyes, we are going to take them all out in phased, aggressive strafing runs. With the drop tanks, let's say that gets us a 1,375 mile range, but it adds significantly more weight. Hit the tanks after the run, that'll drop us a couple thousand pounds. We'll still fall hundreds of miles short, sir. Damn, he really thought that through. You're right, Lieutenant Mason. This is going to be close, but it's not impossible. You use every drop of gas in your wing tanks. Try to make it back to friendly territory someplace. We're going to give you IDs, so if the Germans don't get you as soon as you land, you can be somebody else, and you might be able to blend in with the population. Oh. Are we Tuskegee men or what? Sir, yes, sir! Will we get this job done? Sir, yes, sir! I hope so. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Lord. Hank, well. I don't really know what to say here. I really expected that we we're going to see D-Day and stuff, but... Well, mad men. All roses I was... The sky was theirs, and that was that. So maybe we get to see some more throwbacks. Who knows? But I really expected to see more. What's going on with your tanks, Westbrook? I said drop. Tanks won't drop. All right, Westbrook, I'm with you. Got it? Hey, bro. Nice work, kid. Now let's get this thing done. Okay, here we go. Oh! And now they're in French. I almost said French territory. They're in France. Westbrook up the middle, and I'll follow. Dropping in. Ah, I'm hit. I'm hit. Get out of there, kid. Don't go in the get out. Bail, bail. Oh, no, you're going to pay for that. Oh. Oh, no. Told you I saw another shooter. They got you on too, huh? Who's that? Second Lieutenant Alexander Jefferson. Went down about 30 miles away. Looks like you in bad shape. Yeah. Every time I'm moving. I pass out. You must have hurt your neck. Yeah. Let's see what we can do for you. <laughs> so chaotic. I'm still hopeful for him. Think that's a new commandant? The guard told me they were sending someone. The moment our boys landed in France, the order went out. All POW camps run by SS. Seems like that would require a lot of them. You think they're just trying to scare us? We gotta get the men in shape. It's not gonna look good to our German host now, is it? It's hard work. It'll build the strength we need to resist. Up the rotations. We're consistent for a couple of months. We'll all be ready to fight. The Germans will be none the wiser. We tell them we're after the wood, stocking up for winter. Plus extra wood, extra weapons. Have a seat, Lieutenant. Nice watch you have here. Oh! I have to thank you. These are my favorite. What? Lucky strike? Ta da! Who's keeping the benzo? So, how are things in the States? Alexander Jefferson, 2nd Lieutenant, 0819461. They've all been taught to say this. I feel as if I already understand you. You don't. Your father worked over 10 years. Oh, this is Bucky all over again. No wonder you went into chemistry. We Germans value science as great. What was your target that day? Richard B. Megan, 2nd Lieutenant, 0821913. How did you hurt your neck? Do you have pain? Second Lieutenant 0821913. Alexander Jefferson, Second Lieutenant 0819461. What's the tough guys go to crack, right? Oof. Why do you fight for a country who treats you like that? Do you know any other country does better? I know that my country sure come with help. And I know it's trying hard to become what it says it's supposed to be. And when I get back, I'm going to help you do that like that. Like a That's okay. Goddamn soldier. Oh yeah. What are we doing here? Right. 
I'm so emotional. Shit, I'm always emotional. I feel like I'm crying almost every single episode. Probably have done. Three thirty second. Here, let me help you there. I'm over the north. Thank you. Yeah, come with us. I really got you. Come on, let's go. It's not easy. Well, welcome to paradise. Why don't you return? All right, where, where are we? We've put a lot in your shoulders of late. You've handled all of it. You went above and beyond, Klaus. That's why you're getting a month off. You, oh, you mean me? I'm sorry to ask this, sir, but is this my choice? Because I kind of feel as if I'm... Listen, Crosby, we need you functional. Proper R&R. &R. You're too important to us. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I've been calling for a couple of days now. A couple of my skinny kidneys just wanted to recharge. Sir, this is Miss Lucas. It's not available, sir. Captain? Okay, well, is she out for lunch? Or... I don't think she is who she says she is. Will you tell her I'm going home on leave and this will be my last time in London for a while? She can't get there. She's in France right now doing some mother stuff. Running out of here is not the question for me anyway. Playing it right when the hatch around. We got the truck. We got the two white boys in nice uniforms. Still, it took us four days to get here from Frankfurt. Point is, where are we going to refuel? It ain't like we could just stop off at some POW camp and top off. We ride until it's empty, then we hike from there. Three days might get us to friendly territory. Alex might get out. Probably. What do you think, Army? I think they're so cool. I mean, you should. I think they're a good addition to you guys. You're a museum, huh? My dream girl is five foot two. <laughs> Ripping hips, skin like Lena Hunt. At this moment, kissing the last of her departing capabilities, sweet and young forehead. I mean, she is immediately, without dallying, and with the number 54 bus straight to 650 Marion Street. Well, she was dutifully watching and waiting by her window. Yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have these days, right? Hope. This is just another crazy wet dream to turn off my young twirl. Now you just make sure they pay you in old gold. I have a useful talk of strategy with them later. Yeah. Fella, inhale. Two words for you when you come in here. Now you're here. Two P-51s, P-39s, P-40s. P-47s, P-51s, AP-60s. You know, I, I started out wanting to be a fighter pilot. I ended up falling in love with the big birds. Yeah, I've uh, been building model planes since I was a kid. Built every model imaginable. <laughs> he seems so sweet. I love him. Oh, no, I don't. The twin two-foot floats. I'm so scared of saying that to people now. Yeah. A uh, story about an artist. He sacrifices everything to pursue his passion. You drive? Yes, sir. Speak to Sarah. Oh, you know, Lux. It's good. Well, we could use your help. We? Well, you can't just stay sitting ducks. Notice the new and improved super room, John. Yeah, I got a plan for that. How it works. Back on that first day, the guys looked to you. Why didn't you gripe about us bunking an eight? Well, let's just say I at least knew you weren't spies. Ain't that a. <laughs> you know, Cliff Majors, I'm the bomb group. Everybody calls me Buck. Second Lieutenant Alexander Jefferson, 332nd Fighter Group. So you can call me Alex. Yes, sir. We hand over the papers. Immediately grab the wrist. Bring the ball straight across the temple. Here, over here. Knock him clean out. That's it, fellas. Be that way. Send your gravity got more leverage. Explain this will get the whole thing up. You okay? You have a plan? Nick, okay? And then you're gonna push it forward and rip his throat out. You got it? I hope it works without any casualties. A message from a lady to meet at the hotel, sir. Uh, okay. Thank you. Good night, sir. You think she's there? I don't think she's there. I'm... S she's suspicious right now. Sandra. I don't think Sandra's here. Come out or I'm coming in. Sorry, Klaus. I've been called away once again. Probably for the better. You belong with Jean, and we've still got a war to win. I'll always remember our time together fondly. Love, Sandra. Okay. Four weeks in New York City. Forgot how I ended it. You know, I told Colonel Jeff I didn't want you. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Jeez, I guess it'll be this way. You excited to see Jean? Uh, I guess not. The world is not the same. Not the same because he has been sleeping with another woman. Never will be. Ain't that the truth? The Russians crossed from the Germans. Ah, uh, close, bro. Oh, no! Oh, yeah. What the heck? You were so quick. Good night, Sam. Very close. Very close. Goons gave us 30 minutes, then we march. You're not thinking of running, are you? Not in this ice. You're a bargain. We're in the heart of their fun right now, boys. Whoever fights monsters should take care of them and become their monster. Yeah, that's made us do some tough things. 
What are you doing? I'm in. We make a run for it tonight. Keep going. I'm right behind you. Don't shoot! Help! Help us! Get out of here! Ah! This is breaking my heart every time we watch now. And I am still going to continue watching. Yes. Put your hand. 